for today's project, I'm going to show you how I made these cute little hats for this primitive snowman that I bought at a yard sale over the summer. For this hat here, I used black felt and then I soaked it in Mod Podge after I sewed it and then rubbed some cinnamon on it so it has a nice little smell and it looks more rustic that way. For this little guy here, I'm going to be using a coffee and tea that I um, sack, flour sack that I soaked and dried and I'll show you how I'm going to make his hat. Okay, here is my flour sack that I got at Walmart and I'm going to set the fabric underneath his little head here and then I'm going to bring the fabric around. And I'm going to make sure I overlap it a considerable amount to give myself a seam allowance. I'm going to make a little mark. Okay. I'll take my fabric, kind of cut a good portion of it. This is left over from when I did um, some fabric pumpkins for fall time. Now that I've got my fabric cut, I'm going to take some pins and I'm going to pin it about where I want it, in the shape that I want it. I kind of want it to have that Dickens, I call it Dickens, uh, shape, kind of like a little stocking cap. Let's bring my fabric around. Once you get the general shape, then you can kind of cut and, and fix it better. Now that I got that on there where I want it, remember that the one you want outside is going to go on the inside. And I'm screwed up. i got to go backwards here because I don't want that showing. This, is, this seam is going to go on the back side anyways, once I uh, get it all done. So you really won't see him when you look and at him. Okay, once I've got the hat where I want it, I'm going to take it off here. And then just stitch in my cone shape. Now that I've got my hat inside out, I put my seams tucked under. And I'm going to fold it like that. And then I'm going to stitch it going up at an angle to give it more of a cone shape. Now that we've sewed up the side, we're going to gather up the top by stitching around a loose stitch at the very top. Now that I've made the loose stitch all the way around, I'm going to take my string and pull it tight. That'll bring that whole top together. And I'm just going to go through and reinforce it. Just go around and around. Then knot it off. turn it right side out. That's what I was looking for. A little pucker. And then I'm going to put him on. Like that. So I put my little hat on my little guy and I brought it around to where I wanted it and then I just did a single stitch right there to hold it in place and I think he turned out cute and here they are all done
I think my mother-in-law is going to love them. They're for Christmas. I just think when I first bought them, the woman said they were kind of spooky looking, but with the hats, they're really cute.